I was a federal prison chaplain in an all-male prison. And um, God began to speak to me and help me to understand that He would give me my own church. I didn't see that because women weren't called to pastor churches, but God promised and I accepted His promise and began to move on that. So the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, my denomination, called me and asked me if I'd be interested in interviewing to start a church. That was 31 years ago. I interviewed. I got accepted. They paid my salary for two years. I came here to first to Lithonia, Georgia, where I started the church in my apartment with four people meeting. And the church has grown over the last um, 31 years. And we have 6,000 members today and about 50 programs. God has blessed us because it's a progressive church that loves meeting the needs of the least of these. I have always been um, concerned about justice and equality for all people. I'm particularly concerned about hurting women, homeless women, women who are trafficked, along with their children, women in poverty. And so I am always working um, to release those women, uh, women from anything that would cause them to not be able to live up to God's expectation of their lives. And so we have a program here at Ray of Hope for human trafficking, uh, where we go out with another church on Friday night called Princess Night to minister to women who are on the street to give them an opportunity to get free. Thing that I've been saying all of my life is that we're not here by accident. We're here on assignment. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. That's what the psalmist reminds us in Psalms 139 and Psalms 40. And so it's important that every person discovers his or her purpose and destiny, how they are you uniquely shaped, created to make a difference in the world and in the lives of its people. I want to thank the Atlanta alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated for this awesome award, the Celebration of Women Award. I am so honored and humbled by this because it comes from my sisters of Delta Sigma Theta. And I am blessed as an Alpha Kappa Alpha woman to receive this from you. I also want to thank my staff and members, particularly those Deltas who are in the audience, who always share with me in every celebration, who partner with me in ministry, who make my life wonderful. Thank you so much. And I thank God, most importantly, for using me in such a way that others would recognize it and bless me. God bless you.